Welcome to my channel. I thought that it would be really fun today to do some relaxation ideas and DIYs that you can make to just sort of like unwind after a long day. So I hope you guys find this useful and let's get started. So one of the first things that I like to do after a particularly long day is to take a nice hot shower. So I made these aromatherapy shower melts and all you need to do is mix together one cup of baking soda with a quarter cup of water. So what you're gonna do is add the water in slowly and then start to mix the baking soda with it. You want the texture to be kind of cakey, not too crumbly. You don't want it to be too dry so that it really can solidify well later. So I just add my water in a little bit at a time, making sure that I'm not adding too much. Next, what I do is put in my essential oils and I'm using eucalyptus and peppermint because I think that these are really invigorating fresh scents and the amount that you add is really up to you as far as how strong you want the smell to be. I think I added about 10 drops of each one. Then I just dropped a little bit into a silicone mold. You can use any type of mold that you want but I think the silicone works best. Then just leave them to harden for about 24 hours. To store them you just need to put them in an airtight container and keep them in a cool dry place but when you're ready to use it you just take one out and put it in the corner of your shower so the water hits it and the scent all comes up into the air and just really refreshes you and fills your nose and smells delicious and it's really invigorating and this blend is particularly good if you're also sick because it really opens up your sinuses. So after my shower, my next step to relaxation is making a nice cup of tea and I'm really loving the Harney & Sons Vanilla Decaf Tea right now. And I love to just plop down on the couch and have my tea and watch something on TV. And I really like to light a relaxing candle. So what I'm going to show you how to do now is to make a soy candle using the tin from the tea because they have really pretty tins and I hate throwing them away when I'm done with them. So all you're going to do is make a double boiler by putting some water into a saucepan and then putting a glass bowl or jar on top. And then you can just add some soy flakes in. And I used about a pound of flakes to make my size candle, which was the size of the tin. So you can just put the heat on medium high and you'll see the flakes start to melt from the water heating up underneath them. And then once it gets completely melted, you wanna add your essential oil. I'm using lavender because that's a very relaxing scent to me. Then I just take my wick and put the metal part into the wax and stick it to the bottom of the tin. And then I wrap the top of it around a skewer so that it doesn't move when I'm pouring the wax in. Then I just grab my wax and pour it slowly into the tin. And the reason you wanna do it slowly is so that no air bubbles form. Then you can just leave it overnight to harden and cut the wick and then you are ready to light it. And it smells really good. I would say add about 20 to 40 drops of your essential oils depending on how strong of a smell you want it to be. And this last project I am just so in love with. It is a mini zen garden. And so what I did was just take a glass terrarium bowl and added some sand to it that I just picked up at the craft store. And this bowl took about two bags of that sand. And then I took a fake succulent. Now you could use a real one, but let's be honest, I'm not going to water this. So I just took a fake one and put it into my sand and then covered it up. And then all you need to do is grab a skewer or some sort of pointy object and start drawing designs in the sand. And it's said to be really relaxing to just sort of have this here and do like a mindless activity like drawing designs or raking. I got this really cute tiny rake in the fairy garden section of the craft store. And you can put it on your desk or your nightstand and it's just something that you can kind of take a break and do when you're feeling a little bit stressed out. Okay, so those are my ideas for relaxation. I hope you guys enjoyed them and maybe you'll try some of them out. Let me know if you guys have any other cool relaxation techniques in the comments below because I'm always looking for new ones. And if you guys like this, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that right now if you want to see more videos from me. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!